Hey, this is Mike. I'm down here at Judd Coon Chevrolet in North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and checking out this awesome uh, 2014 Chevy Silverado Rocky Ridge Phantom Edition truck. And um, very impressive. I like the way they have it, you know, kind of propped up there on the grass. It gives it, um, you know, the off road look. Now, this is a black vehicle with uh, like a flat back black or a uh, like a satin black wheel. Mickey Thompson's black side steps, black interior. It does have a, uh, a chrome bumper here, but you also have a, in, a, in a grill. But uh, it is blacked out in the middle of the grill. You have a black brush guard with the Rocky Ridge emblem there. And it's got the super bright LED bar, light bar there in the front. <laughs> Mickey Thompson tires. And you see this one has the uh, has a six inch Rocky Ridge lift that is covered under the factory warranty um, through Chevrolet. So it's all from people tell me that it, it rides really good, rides just as good, if not better than a factory truck. And the tire wells are kind of bolstered by this off-road looking um, design here with the bolts showing. It's pretty cool. And you've got the, the Phantom uh, Rocky Ridge there. It's a good thing it has side steps because it would be hard to get in and out of. You can see, um, see the height there. You have a power passenger seat, uh, leather seats, perforated leather seats here with white stitching. Uh, cargo mats, kind of rugged looking, not cargo mats, uh, slush mats. Rugged looking. Looks like you got a carbon fiber thing going on here. Accents, you got a pocket there. Carbon fiber here, as well as here. Pockets in the door. So you got plenty of room here in the back of the truck. Seats lift up, and we've got some space there underneath the seats. Got a power supply, pockets there, got lights there. Let's see what the drive shaft and all that looks like. A lot of customization through Rocky Ridge. They basically take a brand new truck from the factory and they, when they get done with it, they add a whole bunch of awesome to it. Size uh, steps here on the tail, on the, uh, the back bumper. Flowmaster exhaust. Got the big uh, em Chevrolet emblem and blacked out in the middle. You got your, um, your towing package with uh, both your connectors. Backup camera right here. Now this tailgate is very easily it just kind of you know assisted down and up is what it's called, and um, it comes down and real easy to lift up too. Has a plastic bed liner, and if you know it, why. Um, if the plastic or the spray and bed lighter is better, let me know and why it's better. There's your fuel cap. And I like the way they have this side glass. Has a little, you um, can't feel it, but it has a little place where you can get a wide angle view for, to kind of help with blind spots. Alright, so basically the seat is like chest level, so it's pretty high up, and somebody's already got it like higher up than that, so I'm going to go ahead and lower it and bring it to the back. Alright, so I noticed in these trucks they do not have a, um, a handle, like on the passenger side you have handles and, and in the back to get in the vehicle, but this doesn't have a handle right here. <laughs> Reaching for the handle is not there. So I'm assuming that the steering column is strong enough um, for you know getting it out of the vehicle uh, just by grabbing the steering wheel and, and pulling yourself in. 
um, I'm assuming that's what it's for so <laughs> as far as getting up in here you're gonna have to give me a second um, I'm gonna set the camera down like so all right I needed two hands for that all right so because part of it is it's up on a incline there so uh, it's making it taller than what it really has to be so here's the inside of the the door here you know you've got your normal door um, window controls door lock controls and side mirror controls you got some pockets there and there automatic headlights there's your four-wheel drive controls there windshield wipers there's your shifter steering wheel um, has carbon fiber pretty much everywhere I'm gonna go ahead and start it up sounds pretty dang good doesn't it all right so basically I mean you have your, your menu system here and you can scroll through it with that turn the volume down with the button on the back of the steering wheel I can change to the stations on the back of the steering wheel on this side now um, this is your cruise control settings right here pretty basic this vehicle is in demonstration mode connected by OnStar's high speed 4G connection press the blue OnStar button to learn more alright I'm not going to do that so um, your gauges are easy to read it says Eve 71 there in the uh, on the gauge Now this is a big touch screen. I'm gonna hit the home button so that way we can go to your icon screen. You can go back to your audio like you were, or you can go to the phone. And once you pair your phone, you'll be able to have, have your contacts, recent calls, keypad, all that stuff to uh, to make calls. Go back to the home button. This is where you can go to your navigation, and you can set a destination. You can view the map. You can zoom in and out, and all that good stuff. Um, settings. There's a lot of different settings that you can adjust with um, different the camera the radio the time and date and all that stuff Pandora you can play music through the um, through the Pandora system the the internet radio uh, weather takes a minute for that to load up but the weather will um, kind of give you a really good uh, indicator of what the what the, the forecast you've got a map here showing your truck and um, still loading I'm gonna go to daily okay so here's daily so you can see it has these neat little graphics here showing us um, you know the highs and lows there and look at tomorrow it looks horrible doesn't it? it looks like there's gonna be a hurricane or something but uh, the, the the graphics are pretty neat the, the little graphic pictures there I doubt it. it's just gonna rain tomorrow I don't think it's gonna be uh, that horrific but anyways um, it's pretty neat screen the, the weather and then of course you got your OnStar and you also have your OnStar button up here as well so down here you've got a conventional radio uh, turn through the stations um, you can uh, the volume is here tune through the stations there turn it on and off here now this does have uh, heated seats you can turn them on right here passenger side same deal this is your uh, dual temperature zone passenger side is over here you can adjust the temperature to what you want Right now it's set to low, I can go up and down, I can put it on automatic, um, air conditioning, where I want the air to blow, um, the fan speed, traction control, if you're stuck or something, you can turn that off and that way you can have more control of the vehicle. You do have a cargo light here that shines in the bed of the truck. Downhill descent button is there, that's, that's for off-road use only from what I understand. And um, now you've got all these secret covers, let's see what's behind door one power supply for AC adapter power supply door 2 12 volt power supply 12 volt power supply now let's check this one out three USB ports I think those are for charging I'm not sure if you can actually play with these ports there's some other ones in the vehicle that actually I think you play through the sound system music so there you got some like a tier system here for putting pencils or whatever and then you got a storage pocket there cup holders there armrest place to put a cell phone or just some you know some handy thing right here now this lifts up and you got this big storage compartment here and um, there's a in a bag somewhere in the vehicle is like a little like a 
kind of like a, a file folder type thing see these edges here you can it'll it'll rest in there just like a file folder and um, you got a power supply there a little pocket now this is your connectivity uh, ports USB ports as well as a SD card and auxiliary input there for playing music and stuff and you have a place for the wires to go in and out of the out of there you have a locking glove compartment there and then you've got a bottom glove compartment that's not locking on star buttons are up here on the uh, rear of your mirror you got a tap light there and um, a place to put your sunglasses up here and you can you know change the way you want your interior lights to turn on or off whether you want the door or not here's a little microphone for your making calls which is in a good spot this is your visor it's got a mirror with lights that come on slowly which is pretty neat they don't just blast your eyes real fast same thing on that side real high quality comfortable truck with a lot of features it just it's a really just the truck itself is nice but with the uh, the Rocky Ridge um, add-ons and just the styling of it very impressive truck and this is the Phantom let's see if we can look underneath the hood it's kind of high up before I do that let me put it in reverse so you can see the backup camera that's what it looks like not super clear as a small lens but um, but also it kind of looks like it's there on the edge it kind of cuts off so you definitely want to check your side mirrors um, when backing up but um, but it's definitely good for backing up to a uh, trailer or something like that all right um, let's pop the hood Get the Z71 badge there. All right. I'll put all the specs to this truck because I don't know what si what the um, displacement of this V8 engine is, but um, I'll put, leave it in the in the in the description of the, the video. Let's listen to the exhaust too. And I don't have permission to be revving engines, so you're just going to have to hear the exhaust the way it sounds at idle. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right, if you have any questions, let me know. My name is Mike and uh, leave, leave any uh, you know clarifications or any information that you want to add that I missed out on. I'm sure there's tons of stuff about this vehicle that I don't know about that you can um, kind of tell me and tell everybody else. And um, so anyway, keep the conversation going and I'll see you next time.